Godot 4.3 Beta 1 has been released a few days ago. Questions about when it would be released emerge. Today we will get over all the information that is available about this topic and eventually get to a conclusion about when 4.3 will be released. Let's start. So let's firstly try to gather as much information as we can. So this is the Godot interactive change log. I will be leaving a link in the description down below so that you can visit this website as well. And what I want to check over here is that uh, how many versions, how many betas did we have uh, after the official release in other versions. So for example, let's say here 4.3 and as you can see currently we are in beta 1. Uh, but if we go to 4.2 well, we, we got over six betas over there, then two release candidates, and after the two release candidates, we had the final stable version, okay? Let's take other example, for example, in 4.1, and we had much less betas, we had three release candidates, and finally, the stable version. So, of course, this can really vary depending on the exact versions. If we go, for example, to Growth 4.0, we are going to have much more betas and much more release candidates because it was much bigger version than 4.3. Um, but, for example, there we have also shorter versions. So, it's quite difficult to actually get to a, an average here. Um, but here we do have some stuff that we can consider. First of all, the amount of changes that have been made so far. So uh, 4.3 is an actual quite big update, I would say, because of the amount of changes. Because if we compare it to, for example, 4.2, that it had over six betas and then the release and two release candidates. And as you can see, it has something like 1,000 less changes than 4.3. So it is probable that we even have... Um, something like six betas and then to release candidates and even more than that um but we can check here that for example both had three dev versions as you can see both had until dev 6 and well after dev 6 well we had uh, we are going to be having betas okay so here um i would say that following just what we can see um i would say that we will have something like five six betas okay but well, of course, this can really change. Now, other point that here is quite important for us to consider is that in the official post of Growth 4.3 Beta 1, here they tell us that they are aiming to release 4.3, the official release, in about one month since the 31st of May. So this will be at the end of uh, June, basically. And always they clarify that uh, this may change a little bit depending on different circumstances. Um... Here, what I think is also quite important is that they don't risk merging any new features or risk book fixes until after we release 4.3. This means that they aren't going to be adding much stuff, they aren't going to be fixing, let's say, risky things, um, and therefore, they can probably stick to this date of around a month. So probably, they don't need as much betas as they, need, as they needed for other versions, and they don't need as, much, uh, as many release candidates as they used to need. Uh, because currently 4.3 is quite polished, I would say. Of course, there are things that still have to be tested, um, fixed, etc. But what they are telling us that they are aiming here to to have like one more month of working, and they are not going to adding any new features or risky bug fixes. So this means that they are they want just to give it the the final polishes, and after that they are going to release the uh, official version. Now the question is obvious: When will 4.3 be released? So basically, following all the information that we have gathered throughout the video, we can say that probably we should have something uh, at the end of June, that will be something from the 27th to the 13th of uh, June, because that will be around a month since the first beta was released. And also, we could be also expecting that they uh, release the first release candidates uh, for the beginning of July, I would say something like uh, the 1st of July and also the 5th of July. As usual, you don't really have uh, to 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 consider this as the official release dates or anything like that because Godot always tell you always tells you uh, this is not something that is fixed. This can be changed depending on how the program uh, evolves, etc. Uh, so you don't really have the, it's not basically written in stone. Now let's quickly go over the most important features that are coming with this version. First of all, now Godot will. Uh, 
uh, automatically check for new updates as you can see well here in this case it's telling that there's a new update but i'm the latest one this is the bug that they still have to fix but well anytime there is a new update it's going to pop up over here if you want to enable this simply go to settings and then here network mode change this to be online and there you will have it then other feature that could be useful is the fact that when you want to create a brand new project you will have this create folder button that will basically uh, create a new folder in the path that you select so this will save you some time because now you don't have to browse and create a new folder where you want your project to be saved of course these two features particularly aren't features that are going to revolutionize the engine or have a huge impact on the games that you create with Godot but well they are just a small feature that are always good to have implemented now actually talking about the let's say more important features for example we have some uh, small changes but still quite useful changes in terms of the groups now if you want to select your groups here you have scene groups and global groups basically scene groups are groups that you can only select in the current scene where they basically were created and instead of having like to type you will basically have this kind of checkbox and on the other hand global groups will basically be able to be assigned to any node in any scene so for example i have here node 3d scene and in node 3d i still have here this nodes group okay that as i told you i can assign or remove by just clicking there um but well in 3d as you can see i don't have this node 2d group i only have this node 3d group that i created other important thing is that you can now copy the group name okay so now every time that you want to use to actually this you can paste there the uh, the group name and you're going to be avoiding some misspellings in terms of the time map now there are also some changes that are worth mentioning if you want to add a time map now it's going to be marked as deprecated this means that it's going to receive no new features and that is going to be soon removed so on the other hand you should be using time map layers and the way in which they work is the exact same stuff just that uh you would have one time map layer per a uh, layer that you would like to have um so basically here you have the, the exact same options are quite similar so here you would still be able to change the color and literally any other property that you are able to modify over here um because again it does use a tile set everything quite similar uh and if you have some tile maps already creating your projects you can quickly turn this into tile map layers by selecting the node and going here to the settings and extract time map layers as individual time map layer nodes this will create inside the time map node basically the different time map layers accordingly and finally you can change this node um, to be for example node 2d and there you would have it so those are the main changes in uh, Godot 4.3 and also now we have a more estimated uh, date in which this version is going to be finally released always remember that um, this can change and that there is until now at least there is uh, no official date so I hope that this video has been helpful. If you want to know the latest news about Widow 4.3, if you want to have uh, some other tutorials and information about Widow, don't hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm always uploading Widow content. So I will see you in the next one and bye bye.